The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carle. And if you'd like to buy this book, check in the link description down below. One warm day, from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Welcome, chirped the big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good morning, whizzed a locust, spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping his huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Good day, crunched the worm, munching its way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Hi, babbled a spittlebug, slurping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Good afternoon, screeched a cicada, clinging to a branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. How are you? hummed a bumblebee, flying from flower to flower. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Good evening, whirred a dragonfly gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Good night, buzzed the mosquitoes, dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. A lunar moth sailed quietly through the night, and the cricket enjoyed the stillness. As a lunar moth disappeared, silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. She, too, was a very quiet cricket. Then, he rubbed his wings together one more time, and this time, he chirped the most beautiful sound that she had ever heard. The End